profitable fashion label on a shoestring budget. You don't need a lot of cash to do this. Now, along the way today, I'm going to give you a whole heap of really valuable steps and have a little bit of fun along the way and also some secret steps that only the industry professionals know and I'm going to reveal them to you so make sure you stay for the whole pretty much showing three months beforehand. So now I will show you the secret to running a successful fashion line and making sure you don't go bankrupt. Get pre-orders. Now, this is, sounds really simple, but so many people get it wrong, and I've seen a lot of people lose a lot of money. It's because they get their samples made, they order the minimums through their manufacturer before they even see a fashion buyer. This is the biggest mistake you can make. You need to get all your orders from your buyers about three to six months in advance. So you get your samples from your manufacturer, you put together your range catalog, you go see your fashion buyer, you get the orders, then you tally up all your orders from the buyers for a final count. You then place this final count to your manufacturer. Now this will ensure that it's like a pre-sale, um, you're already guaranteed that the buyer is going to buy everything that you have ordered. Now. My hot tip here is if your manufacturer says the minimum that you can order of each garment is 200 pieces and you only have 50 pieces um, in total orders, you want to cancel the style. Now, you really have to be ruthless and, you know, don't go, oh, so many people go, oh, but I love it. Just people need to get give it a chance. And they order the 200 pieces, even though they've only got um, orders for 50. Now, this is the biggest no-no because if your buyer hasn't bought it, they know their stuff. They know it's not going to sell in store. So if your buyer hasn't bought it, it means it's not going to sell in store. So don't, don't just order it and go, oh, I'll sell it off later because you'll have a grant full of clothes you can't sell. Now, you place your bulk order with your manufacturer and specify strict delivery dates. You want to make sure that the date that you've told the buyer that your garments will be ready is um, exactly what your manufacturer can deliver on. You can run into a lot of problems if your styles are late. Now, the 